narrow margin to just win both games. There's Mella. Lovely turn, and what a goal that is! Welcome to the very first episode of my second career mode that I'm starting off. Of course, I'm still going to be carrying on the Stoke one. But you guys have voted. You've had your say. You say that Crew Alexandra is the team that you want You want me to take over. Of course, after David Artel, I don't actually believe is doing that well this season there. Um, which can be down to a variety of things, really. It could be down to players not being good enough or you know we could be down to anything but yeah uh, of course I've been brought in to, to try and fix uh, what's happening um, they are currently in real life 16th in the league so of course I believe we can do better than that um, so I've had a look around before I started recording I've had a look around seeing the strengths and weaknesses of the squad I've definitely noted already we need a centre mid a quicker striker because Bowery's good yeah I do like Bowery but I think he needs somebody quick up with him uh, Ainley needs to be replaced on that right wing and Kirk definitely needs to be replaced on the left wing I do believe that Whelan's actually a decent player from what I've heard so maybe he'll get the maybe he'll make the cut maybe he won't um, so yeah let me just show you who I've actually got on my shortlist so far I've tried to ha have a look and you know I've had a look and here are the players I've come up with. So Ali Al Habsi, in terms of goalkeepers, I do think we could still do better. So I've looked at Ali Al Habsi, who I believe will be actually a pretty good goalkeeper for us if we could game in. Um, yeah, I just think he brings that bit of experience, which is what we probably need. I mean, we have old goalkeepers who aren't very good, but I think it just in general he brings a bit more experience in these divisions. Then we've also got younger keepers. From that point on, we've got Guy Lai from Stoke, who I, who, you know, I, I think could be all right for us. Freddie Woodman from Newcastle, um, Joe Virginia from Everton, and Vickers from Lincoln, who uh, could potentially be a pretty good goalkeeper. So, um, yeah, who else have we got? We've got Bostwick, because I definitely feel we need a defender, and I thought maybe we need that brick wall defender who's the proper big brick wall, you know what I mean, like a big strong defender, so definitely having a look at him. Uh, I'm also looking at MK Dons, uh, I had a look at MK Dons, Cissé looks like he could be a pretty good midfielder for us, um, just in general really his height and power just seems to really suit what we need at the moment. Then um, we also have uh, Tavon Campbell, um, he can be a striker and left wing and looks like he's really quick, really strong, really powerful. Of course, we need to scout these players before we make any decision. But yeah, um, we've also got Reese Brown from Forest Green as well, who looks like a pretty good player. Um, all round, it looks like he's got decent stats. He can play three positions, which always helps. He's got flair as well, which is definitely something I'm looking to bring into this crew side. We've also had a look at a few others from Stoke, so Harry Sutar. Of course, a big, powerful uh, centre half again. Um, not the greatest player in the world, but again, we're in the we're in League Two. We've got to accept that fact now. Uh, also, I'm looking at Ollie Shenton from Stoke. Uh, Tyler Roberts from Leeds on loan would be nice. Rhys McGinley, he looks like he could be an all right player. He's got a nice bit of pace by the looks of it. Um, ben Godfrey from Norwich, another youngster who I'm looking to get in potentially on loan or if he's cheap on a permanent deal. Valerie, who in real life has been breaking into the Southampton side recently and looks promising, so I'd like if we can get him in, I think that'd be a really good uh, signing. We're also looking at Emil Smith Rowe um, from Arsenal, who have been told a gem on this career mode. Um, so, yeah, of course, I'm going to be having a look at him. There's also your obvious ones, Reese Oxford, uh, there's Offerborough and 
um, Nakate, uh, Humphreys, Grand, Holland, Hansen, Hamilton, Gribben, who I think could be fantastic for us, as would Green would be. Um, Ennis, uh, Colby, Chong, but he looks like he could be great. You know, I've got a lot of players there um, who I'm willing to have a look at and just see if I can get maybe one or two of them in. So I'll be back with you when, I, when I've scouted them, really. As before we can make any transfer business happen, we do have a, of course, pre-season friendly because we do need the extra bit of money. We're playing Willem 2. I'm not going to play for any of these games. Um, I lost 2-1 in that one, so, oh well. And we drew that 1-1-1 one, one, one as well. I don't think we've made it past the group stage. No, we haven't. Oh well, we get a little bit of extra funds, yeah, you see, an extra 200 grand, which probably will actually go far uh, in this. So, um, yeah, let's just carry on and try and get some signings done. I think the first player I'm going to go in for is Mason Greenwood, because um, there are teams actually closing in on him. As you can see, there's teams going in for him. Um, I'm going to see if I can get him on loan, hopefully, because he looks like he'll be really, really good for us. Let's go. So guys, I'll have him on a one-year loan for now. Um, so yeah, Man United are more than happy with that. Then, how much is, are his wages going to be? You've got to bear in mind, we are going to really, really struggle to pay his wages. So we have to be cautious. I think I'm going to go 60, 40. I think it's a fair amount. They're happy with that. Hopefully, Greenwood wants to join. Sadly, Greenwood does not want to move uh, to us. I think it's somewhat to do with probably the league we're in. Uh, which is a real shame really because I thought he could have been a great signing for us but obviously he's not willing to take that much of a step down. After actually looking at him, he's not the quickest in the world but overall this uh, Michael Boswick from Lincoln looks like he could be a fantastic addition in terms of his stamina, strength, aggression and just in general he looks like he could really really add a bit of you know a bit of oomph to our defence, a bit more firepower um, so yeah I'm gonna go in for him now and hopefully we can get him on the cheap uh, so I'm not really looking to spend a load on this guy considering he has 30 so what if we put in 575 base value bid they want 600 that's fine, it's an extra 15k, unless actually we could do it this way, where we offer 450k plus a salon clause of 10%. Okay, they want 590, okay, that's fine by me. Uh, we'll agree that deal, and we should hopefully get Bostwick in now. So here we go guys, um, he of course wants a crucial role which is fine, he's going to be by far the best centre half at the club, uh, he only wants a one year deal, I want at least three years, um, he's not willing to do that, ok we'll meet in the middle, he has 30 after all, so two years, he's happy with that, um, then we'll deny any release calls, um, he's currently on 6 grand a week which is a lot out of our wages, so it's going to get awkward for us in the wage department. We'll offer him six, uh, five and a point five grand. We'll sign on for like 20k. Let's see if he accepts that. He, okay, he's willing to drop low. Lower than that. Um, okay, can we edit his bonus to 25 clean sheets? And he gets... Actually, no, that's not really fair. Okay, we lower it to 50. 10, 15 clean sheets, fine. Uh, and he gets 150. Because, yeah. And, uh, he's accepted. We've signed Bostwick as our first signing of the career mode. I'm very happy with that. So I'm going to go be going in for the free agent. Hannes Poor Hal Dawson. Um, I think I did pretty well with the name there, actually. Um... He's, he looks like he's a decent keeper, 69 rated, 6 foot 4, uh, decent goalkeeping stats, especially for a keeper who's going to be in League 2. 
Uh, let's see if we can convince him to join the club. So here we go guys, he wants a crucial role, that's what he's getting anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy for that. He's not, he's not young, so yeah, I was expecting this. So two year contract to me seems fair. Yep. Um, then we disregard a release clause entirely. Uh, he wants 43 grand a week. Um, if we remove the bonus and maybe put on his signing up bonus to 35 grand, I think that's an acceptable deal. He wants a few hundred quid more. That's fine. We have signed Halderson uh, as our number one goalkeeper. I think that's a fantastic deal. Despite his age, I think he's what we need in the short term. Uh, as my final chance for the episode, I think this is going to be quite a long episode, if I'm honest. Uh, you guys will already know by, that, by this point, of course. But I'm, for my final chance for the episode, because I do want to play the Macomba game, which is our first game of the season, um, I'm going to go for Baggy Oko. Um, who looks like he could be a really good, really good player at right back for us. Uh, so yeah, let's get in. So here he is. Um, I believe he will play a crucial role at the club. I think he'll start pretty much every game at right back. Um, so yeah, he's quite young still, so I don't want a five-year deal. He's only 28. He wants a one-year, I want a three-year possibly. He still wants one year. Okay, we'll give him two, and if... He's willing to extend later on, and then we'll extend. Um, of course, we're not going to go in for a release clause. He wants five grand a week with bonuses, and yeah, so this ain't going to be easy. All right, if we bump that up an extra few grand, so maybe go 33 grand a week, we bring it down to 4.8 grand, uh, grand a week. Uh, how about that? He wants 5.1. We can do that, I guess. And Baggy Yoko has joined our squad. Let's go. And now, the next time you see me, I'll I'll be showing my team for the Macombi game. A team sheet for crew um, to play Macombi. Here it is. Hal Dawson starts in goal, making his debut about four. O'Connor debuts in Bos Bos Bostwick. God. Nolan and Baggy Yoko. Uh, a midfield four of Ainley, Captain Green, Jones and Nicholas. And up front start Miller and Brow and Bowery. Let's go. In charge of crew. Can I turn this side around that has struggled for a few years here at Gresty Road, the home of crew out of the football club? Let's find out. Let's go. Still good play. Miller from distance or just wide. Oh, lovely skill by Barry! Oh! Look at the ball. Bowery. And it's Miller. Good save. Ainley on the rebound. And we score. We've gone 1 0 up just before half time. Ainley with the goal. The first goal in the career mode as well. It was a nice, well worked move actually. A good save by the keeper, but an easy rebound for Ainsley to latch onto. Look at this, great skill by the big man. Puts it in, good save. And then an easy rebound for Ainsley, really. Open goal, get in there. And that's half time, guys, here. And at the break, we are 1 0 off. We're playing really well. They haven't really had any chances at all. We're the only ones creating any sorts of chances. And at half time we've done really well with the one nil up. Get in there. Looking for teammates. Oh it's a good ball in! Oh it's a lovely header! A fantastic run in by I believe it's green. With 15 minutes to go, we've gone 2-0 up and really solidified. Our oh, chances of winning this game. Green with a fantastic run in to the box. A great cross from Ainsley who's got a goal and an assist. Lovely skill, good ball. A great run in by Green and a clever header to make it 2-0. Oh, that's terrible. Well guys, we made our first two changes of the game. Nicholas off and Jones off. Um, Kirk on and Whittle as well. 
And that's full time guys, we win 2-0 on, on the opening day, a really, really solid performance. Uh, I got to know maybe one of the two of the players a little bit better in how they play. But I've got to say, Ainley did impress me with a goal and an assist. Um, so yeah, I think it's a strong start to the season and hopefully that's how we mean to go on. I am in Ashraf. I feel that free agents, before you ask guys, I feel that free agents are a really good way to just bolster your squad up a bit, especially in this league. I do think it's really difficult to get good players from anywhere, really, even on loan. So, yeah, I do think free agents are the best way to go. Yeah, he can have a crucial role. That's completely fine. We want 27. We want at least four years. That then we'll have two. Jesus. Wow, he's gonna cost us bucket load. So guys, we've signed Ashraf, um, the Egyptian, so I'm more than happy with that. Guys, to finish off the episode, I'm going to try and get this final deal done. David Amu, who looks like he could be an interesting choice for us going forward. Right, so, I'm not going to get him in on, on the cheap, guys. We don't have much money left. He, he, this could actually be the final signing we make. If I'm honest, so for 300 grand with a salon clause, we're on about 15%. Um, they're fine with that, that's good. So, guys, we're looking at him now. We're in here. David Amu only wants an important squad role, which to me is fine. Uh, five year deal I want. Uh, he wanted one year. Okay, how about three? Probably going to say no to that. One year, okay, okay, we want a two year then, at best. Okay, yeah, fine. He doesn't want a release clause, which is fine by me, it's part of the plan anyway. Um, then we're looking at money, he's not on much anyway. Probably about three grand a week with the signing on, fifty about ten grand a week. He wants 2.817 on that. Oh god, that would drain us completely. Um, Okay, uh, if we bring this down to 13, we've got a deal. He wants 3 grand, 17. How did we get back up to 3 grand? Okay, I'll offer you what you wanted before, so we'll add 2.8 and 17. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. He wants 3 grand. Fine, we'll just give it to him. We've signed Amu um, as our final signing of the, uh, potentially could be our final signing of the window. Guys, that's going to be the end of an episode of the episode. Uh, I'm sorry for the length, of however long it's going to be. I know it's going to be long. Um, but yeah, I thought we made some decent signings in this episode, just quickly summarise. Uh, we've signed, of course, Hal Dawson, the uh, Icelandic goalkeeper. Um, who I, th I think is a pretty good addition. Bostwick, who had a fantastic first game, um, and he even almost got himself on the score sheet at one point. Baggy Yoko, uh, again, a very, very good right back for us in terms of uh, the standard we're at at the moment. And of course, in League 2, it's not, not going to get the best player in the world, but he's pretty good. Uh, I like him, I think he's got good pace, just in general, fairly cool. Um, and then we can call sign Anu, who I'm yet to test out. He looks great, he's got a lot of pace, which is something we don't really have in any of our other players. He's like, sort of in the middle quick, he's sort of in the middle quick. Then he's got no one else really, he is rapid in the side. So I think we needed that pe uh, injection of pace and to get him thrown in. But I think there's something like 300 grand is a steal really um 
so yeah, uh, I'm pretty happy with him, he's skillful as well, um, so that's what we needed really, um, in terms of wingers, we've got one quite quick, uh, one quite quick, one on one, like in the middle one, uh, but yeah, but maybe I think the older positions I wanted, I wouldn't mind a new left on there, I mean, can't get well, uh, and I wouldn't mind a new striker if we could get, if we could get our hands on one, but anyway, um, that is going to be the end of the episode, I do hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.